how to use Melodyne plugin to create drums. Audio to MIDI capabilities are a perfect option for drum replacement and reinforcing. This popular technique can be found everywhere in modern audio production. And although there are many ways to do this, here we'll demonstrate Melodyne's flexibility and advantages. Let's take a look. Here I've imported a couple of demonstration drum files. Let's take a listen. As you can hear, the snare is a little lifeless and dull. Well, what we're going to do is transfer this as MIDI data and use it to create some drum reinforcement for ourselves and really add to that snare. Now, if you notice here in our first insert slot, I applied a gate. Typically, in Melodyne, you want to put it on your first insert slot when you transfer your audio. But in this case with drums, this is actually going to help us because we want just a clean, clear transfer of the snare drum hits. So I applied a gate first, and then a little bit of dynamics following that to kind of level out the hits for us just a little bit. Okay, so let's come down to our third insert slot. And under Other, let's open up Melodyne Mono. And the plugin window opens like so. We'll activate Transfer, rewind our playhead, and we'll transfer the entire snare drum track here into Melodyne's plugin window. And once I stop playback, the audio has been successfully transferred here into Melodyne. And here we can see all of our snare drum hits. Perfect. Now, while we're in this window, keep in mind that prior to your MIDI conversion, you can take advantage of these editing tools to kind of change or alter the sound. Uh, for example, we can uh, do some pitch editing, format, amplitude adjustment, timing, and such. But in this case, we're just going to concentrate on the audio to MIDI conversion. So now that the drum spin, uh, snare drum has been transferred, let's come up to Settings and choose Save as MIDI File. So let's give it a name. Like so. And just simply hit Save. And there. Our MIDI data is now converted and saved into our Pro Tools session folder, like so. So let's close this plugin window now, okay? And here we'll come up to Track, select New, and let's make a new mono instrument track, like so. So we have a mono instrument track, and just choose Create. Let me drag it up to here, and let's name it. Creative, great. Now, why don't we come up to File and choose Import. We're going to import MIDI. And let's import our MIDI snare file that we created in our session folder. And we'll put it in our Regions bin, like so. And I'm just going to select it and drag it onto our newly created instrument track. Okay, now that we've successfully converted our analog snare drum track to MIDI data and imported that onto its own instrument track, let's now insert our favorite virtual instrument, any one will work. In this case, we'll open Expand, and we'll load some drums, and come down to Drums and choose Snare Menu, like so. So what I'll do first is mute the instrument track, and we'll A-B it first without the new snare, and then with. Here's without, and then I'll activate it. And you can see how we're now utilizing the new MIDI created file to layer drums. Let's try a different sound. Let me come back down to drums and choose something like cowbells. Let's hear what this sounds like. Uh, maybe a little tambourine and cowbell. Here's before. 
and here's after. Pretty easy, huh? Let me rewind that and let's just do one more quick one. I'll come up to, let's see, uh, percussions. And let's choose uh, Big Snare. That sounds good. Let's check that out. Let's try this one. Here's before. And here's after. It's as simple as that. Taking advantage of audio to MIDI conversion has limitless possibilities, and this is just one of them. Melodyne offers users a lot more creativity than most other programs, and this is just one way to take advantage of some of its built-in features. Thank you for watching. My name is Carlo Libertini.